Just four months after South Carolina announced its first case of coronavirus, the Palmetto State, along with several others, now emerging as a COVID-19 hotspot. Case numbers skyrocketing over the past two weeks, setting record after record. I think a lot of it comes down to what we all do naturally in the summer, and that is get out and about and socialize more. DX says that the spike here in Columbia is being driven mostly by young people, who despite warnings from health officials continue to go out, often without wearing masks. In response, USC President Bob Caslin and university officials unveiling a comprehensive plan for reopening, including expectations to test all students, faculty and staff before their return to campus, and a new academic calendar in-person instruction ending after Thanksgiving. These are real people. These are real South Carolinians, people's loved ones who are dying each day that we report. They're not just numbers, they're people. Not all citygoers in Columbia are worried by the new numbers. In a recent SGTV poll, the percentage of people saying they're comfortable going out to restaurants split right down the middle, 50% saying they're comfortable eating out. Are you scared about coronavirus? No. Not at all, not at all, but I'm praying for all the people that's out there that that's portraying that they can't get it. I'm praying for them because I know we can get it, but am I scared? Hell no, no. Hell no. While they may not be scared, health officials and frontline workers like CNA Celeste Talifus say it's more serious than people think. COVID patients fight for their life. Um, I mean, you go in there and they're on oxygen and they still can't breathe. They're just sitting there like gasping for air and it's just horrible to see, you know. One of her co-workers died of coronavirus earlier this week. She was an outstanding nurse. Um, she risked her life for, you know, for her patients and, you know, she, she died because of her job. While Governor McMaster hasn't imposed restrictions lately to halt the spread of coronavirus, several city councils from across the state have imposed their own mask-wearing requirements, including here in Columbia. Spencer?